Hi, this is Steve Strickland with Lightning Baseball. I wanted to cover a look at the Rap Soto hitting data that comes out in the hitting reports. Um, not really seen a good uh, coverage of that, of what's what's there, what it's comprised of, how can you use it. I also want to show there, there's a step that we've taken to drill down a little bit further and make a little bit more use of the data for us. Um, so let's go ahead and start. We're, we, we're logged in here. This is a local high school team's data. Um, so I'm going to randomly pick a player here and go ahead and take a look at their hitting data. Now, um, you can export to the hitting reports by range. Um, as of right now, in the Rapsodo Cloud 1.0, you're not able to download the raw data into a CSV or an Excel file. You have to download the data in the form of, of uh, the hitting reports. So uh, if I don't specify a range, it's gonna give me all the data um, uh, for a given range. It gives me the ability to select uh, either live, soft toss, or off the tee. Given with this group, we've one, done one data capture with them. It's only soft toss. So I'm going to go ahead and download the report. <clears throat> All right. So open the PDF up here. And um, so right off the go, pretty useful stuff here. Um, at the top of the page, you get some uh, summaries, some averages. So you get your average exit velocity, your average launch angle, your average distance. You also get your peaks. So peak exit velocity, peak distance. Uh, as well as some consistency numbers, um, as well as a spray chart to where you see where the actual the, the hits are landing, but you also see what the system has classified the hit as. If we scroll down a bit, you're going to see a couple of heat maps, and these heat maps are from the perspective of a catcher, and you get a range for how the how how the system rated um, the exit velocity and launch angle, and now this scale is based on the group. So in this case, we have a high school team in there, and this happens to be one of the stronger hitters. So you see their, um, her exit velocities are all red, which were all correspond to the highest um, in the distribution. Um, if we scroll down even further, we have some pie charts here to where you can see classifications of different hit types. And the system automatically does this. There's nothing the user needs to do. Um, so we just drill down further and suddenly upper right, you'll see the red and the light blue correspond to low line drive and high line drive. And so that's the majority of this pie chart. So obviously we're dealing with a, with a fairly strong hitter here. This, this is good stuff. Um, scroll down even further. This data here is very useful with some of the groups that we work with that we have say a year's worth of data there. You can see um, performance over time. And so very, very useful stuff. You can see the X velocity increasing. You can see the launch angle um, either coming down or going up, depending on what you where, where the hitter was at when you started working with them. And hopefully the distance going up as well. Uh, but it's very useful feedback, not only to the coach, but also to the player. And if you scroll even further here, this is a key that uh, you can reference that defines some of the metrics in the, in the report. So now I wanna show you the step we took um, a little bit further to provide more utility to the data. Now as we transition to a spreadsheet that was built manually with Rapsodo data and what I was after here was uh, ability to really sort by any metric that I chose um, and gain more insight. So we can sort by exit velocities, launch angles, distance, but also we can drill down into who's hitting the ball more on the ground more often, who's hitting the ball in the air, um, it also allowed me to build out a hitting KPI number or a metric that I'm calling the hitting KPI. And what I'm after there is a, a roll up measure to really gauge at a quick look who's hitting the ball better th than others. And the hitting KPI number per my definition um, is comprised of average exit velocity, average distance, and hard hit percentage. So uh, walking through each one of those, your average exit velocity is, is who's hitting the ball overall, on average, the hardest. Um, your average distance, um, I like it because it's comprised of multiple things. There's a launch angle component there. There's also a spin component. And we've noticed over time that players that hit a ball with more backspin is getting considerably more distance than a player who's hitting the ball with top spin or, or knuckles. The hard hit percentage metric is calculated by Repsoto as it takes a player's max exit velocity, and any ball that's hit within 90% of that, it's considered a hard hit ball. So what I'm after there is more of a consistency measure. So I'm giving 50% weight to the average exit velocity, 25% weight to average distance, and 25% to 
weight to hard hit percentage. And I'm gonna track that over time and see what I can learn from it and see if it really gauges out to where, um, how it translates to on-field performance. Um, but yeah, just after a really a, a quick look and, and to gain more insight without having to turn all the knobs here in the spreadsheet. So I hope this was useful and hope it shed some light on what's currently available as far as your data capabilities in the Rapsodo Cloud 1.0 some steps you can take to gain some more insights if you're willing to do a little the, the tedious manual labor here um, is really to use data as a tool to make your players better and gain more insight as a coach. And that's really what I'm after and that's what I'm always after with this stuff. So hope you found it useful and um, you know I'd love to hear from you if you did. If you, if you had any questions about setting some stuff up on your end, please reach out. I, I'd be glad to help you. Thank you.